Alright, so we discard all this stuff. Return, discard, discard. Reroll this, it becomes a blue. We reroll this, it becomes a gold. I'm glad we rolled a blue, because that lets us use stamina for its big effect. Not that it's going to matter. Um, so we get 5, we get what, 10 experience, which is good. So we got 30, so we go to 40, which is down here, which means we level up. And then these go away. Discard, discard. And then we get our rewards from the site first, which is, again, it is, I get. I put a shield on this place, and gain an artifact, and three, so let's get the artifact first. Oh, so we'll still have time. We'll, sweet. All right, let's see what we get. This could be good. So, artifact one, two. All right, shield of the fallen kings, block six or block four against two different attacks. Oh, this is good. Um, book of wisdom. Yeah, I'm taking the shield. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this card. And this goes on top of my deck. Well, hold on. Hold up. You know, you can't think about cards just by reading them. You gotta think about what is going on right now and what card can help you the most right now. So, this card doesn't do anything for me right now. I'm not gonna be doing any more fighting. This card, although this card will probably be very good against the cities, maybe, maybe not really. Yeah, it will be good against the cities. Um, the Book of Wisdom allows me to throw away an action card from your hand, gain an advanced action from the advanced actions offered to your hand that is the same color. So I have a blue and a white. So if I were to get this, on my next turn I would draw it, my last turn of this round, and I could throw away a blue card or a white card to get is a, an advanced action that's blue or white. Do I gain it or... It, so it goes on top of my deck, so I won't be able to use it right away. I won't be able to use it this round because I only get one more turn. So go on my deck, and then then the round ends. Um, but I could get I could take Ice Bolt. I could basically just take Ice Bolt. I could get rid of stamina and take Ice Bolt. But if I do that, then I can't move. Yeah, that's not as good because I want to be able to move here while this costs only three movement. Because then daytime these are going to cost five, and it's going to be harder to get out of here. So. Yeah, my, my ruling still stands. So, throw away, on top of the deck. Alright, and then we get three random mana crystals. Roll a mana die three times to determine their color. If gold is rolled, you choose the color. If black, you get plus one fame instead of a crystal. So, I don't want black. Alright, so let's roll this. So, it's a gold, so I get any color I want. I'm going to take red. And then we'll roll again. Oh, fucker. Alright. And then I get plus one fame. That sucks. And another gold. Okay, that's not bad. Um, What do I want here? Do I want... I think I take a white here for swiftness. Alright. And we're good on that. And we're good. Okay. And then we level up. And this level we got an advanced action and skills. So let's let's do skills first. This is a cooperative skill, which means we don't use it in the solo game. Oh, buddy. Alright, decisions again. Alright, so let's see. Oh, wrong one, skills. So, Tobax, double time, move two during the day. And this is good, because I'm going to need movement, obviously, for next turn, because i got a lot of ground to cover. But, I also really like motivation. So I can flip it to draw two extra cards. Really good for assaulting cities. But I think... I'm, t I'm, I'm going to take double time, believe it or not. Just because... I think if it was any other situation... If I wasn't in this predicament, I'd probably take motivation. But because I need movement, and I'm going to... I have to move all the way around, most likely, unless I can beat this dragon in some magical way. Um... Hmm... So yeah, I'm going to have to move a lot. It's 5, 10, 
12 to explore. I mean, yeah, I just have a lot of movement to do. And it's once a turn, which is why it's good, not once a round. I'm taking that. Alright, so we'll take this, and then Krang. He flips over one of his. And it's this one, right? Nope, it's... Battle Friends. He wants a turn attack 2, may flip it to get attack 4. If you spend a turn resting, may flip this token back. Okay, um, that's fine. Alright, so... Now, that's the end of my turn. Oh, and I get an advanced action. So many, so much stuff to do. Now, what do I take? Do I take Ice Bolt? For ranged ice attack and a blue crystal? Do I take Force of Nature? Which is not very good by itself, but I get Siege Attack 3, which is good against cities. If I have a green mana. Or do I take Decompose? Throw away. Or I could. Oh, this is good, actually. Gain two crystals. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Because I need crystals. I need crystals to assault cities and kill dragons and shit. And this turn, all I need is three movement to get here. Or I need six movement to move again. And I don't have six, no matter what. I'm going to have four. Actually, I am going to have six. I'm going to have four, five, six. Wow, that sucks. That changes my mind. Because now I could actually, on this turn, I can move here. But if I take decompose and throw away stamina, that well, or I throw away diplomacy, I could get two white crystals. But then, hmm, yeah. But then I can't fucking move. I'll only be able to move one space as opposed to two. And I think moving two spaces is more important. So I'm not gonna take decompose. I'm gonna take either Ice Bolt or Force of Nature. And I'm taking Ice Bolt. Okay, on top of my deck. Alright. This go over, this goes over. And there's Fire Bolt. Okay, so... That's the end of my turn. Now I draw all my cards. Okay. Dummy player declares end of round. I get one more turn. Oh, wait a minute. I could have taken Decompose. Because I was going to draw Shield of Fallen King, which lets me turn. So it be 4, 5. What's better? Decompose and getting two white crystals right now. Or having Ice Bolt. Huh. And getting a blue right now. But, see, so yeah, see, so I think getting one crystal now and having Ice Bolt, which is going to be useful in combat at some point as opposed to taking Decompose, which gives me one extra crystal, but it's not useful in combat. So yeah, I think, I like Ice Bolt because it's more flexible. I like this play better. Okay, so, I'm going to play, um, I'm going to play Ice Bolt for the crystal. I'm going to play Stamina with a blue mana. Let's move four, and then turn this sideways. Right? Yeah, it's fine. Five. I, I don't even need to use this ability at six. So three, six. I have one extra mat, one extra movement, which isn't enough to explore. I could uh, this in this case, I could not get the blue crystal and explore here. Uh if I don't want the cr yeah, I'm gonna do that because I think it's more important to explore right now than it is to get a crystal. So let's get rid of this. So instead, I'll turn this sideways. Let me make sure I did that right. So it's four. Five, six, seven, eight movement. That's three, six, minus two to explore is eight. And it's not a city, okay. Which is good. So, the only problem is it's a fucking mage tower. And there's another dragon, okay. Up, and there's one of these guys. And this is, I'm next to it, so it, gets, it appears. Oh, this sucks. Alright. Hmm. We'll see how it goes next turn. So that's the end of the round. So we discard, we discard all this stuff. It doesn't really matter because the round's gonna end. All right. So this round, this city has to go. It has to. There's no option. It has to go.
which sucks because we gotta kill a dragon or waste car. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, this is gonna be rough. All right. So let's do it. So listen there, round up. It's not gonna be pretty. This is not gonna be a clean run. That's for sure. Still three monasteries out. So one, two, three. Okay, and then uh, uh, so there should be advanced elite units, right? Yep, there's my elite units. Ultim guardians, which are only recruitable in castles, and they're ridiculous. And catapults, which are amazing for assaulting cities, but. I can't recruit them because there's no keeps around me and I don't have a city yet. Alright, so... There's also underground travel, which is retarded for assaulting cities. That is awesome. But it's only good if you can get the black effect, I believe, yeah. So... I mean, it would be good to assault the, the city at night time. I could take underground travel. Move by up to three revealed spaces on the map. You may not move to or through swamps or lakes. Okay, so I don't need to move through or from swamps. Moving this way does not provoke rampaging enemies. So that actually, if I can kill, if I take this, this take the mage tower, um, get underground travel, that allows me to travel to the city without provoking the dragon either of these dragons which saves me time um, but it also forces me to kill the city that turn that I play underground travel um, well I mean that, that, that was gonna happen no matter what so that's actually I think that's my plan and then I'll have underground travel for nighttime where I can play underground attack and that makes assaulting the city all like a lot easier. I think that's our plan. All right, with that plan in mind, we get to take tactics. Um, there's only planning. I'm obviously taking planning. Um, I am on the right level, right? I'm on level one, two, three, four, five. I'm on level six, and yep. Okay, so if I, uh, let's see. So I'll take planning, and then he takes rethink. So he's gonna go first. This is not good because we have 24 cards. He's only got 20. So we're going to have to move pretty quickly. Alright, so... Banner of Fear is still up. We're good there. Let's draw our six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got Mana Bolt. Um, let's see here. I got... I can use the Foresters to not have this guy attack me. Um, does it matter? I can have block. I, so I, I fire block two and then I could block four of it or I could have, yeah, I could block four of it somehow. Or I have to, I'd have to block eight regular or four. Yeah, so we're probably not going to block it. I might actually have to use the banner of fear to not take the damage. And then, oh, we have ice block, don't we? We do. So ice block four plus um, ice block two here is enough ice block to actually be fine. But I need a blue crit, blue mana for this. Oh, and because we rolled um, more half or more is non-basic mana, we have to re-roll the non-basic mana, which is this button. So we got a blue and a white, which is perfect because that lets us use ice block. So I can move here. <clears throat> assault the city, um, and then I, can, I need a blue mana to do that. I'm also going to need five movement to get over there, which it's daytime, so I have two. Use the circlet for plus two more, which is only four, or I could do what? Hmm. 
If I do this circle it, that's two more movement. Plus I get, I don't need the block though. Um, I, don't, I could take motivation. Uh, I could take, I could use motivation. Get a blue mana token, which lets me, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I think. And then I could do move two, move four, and then move five. I'm going to use underground travel to get here anyway. I think that's what I'm going to do. It gives me two extra cards to work with, to attack with. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to play Circle of Proficiency. I don't get to use this twice because this is a once a round skill and not once a, um, not a once a turn skill. So I get to use Motivation 2, which is draw two cards and I get a blue mana token. So I take a blue mana token, put it in my play area, I draw two cards. One, two. That's good. Of course, we got, we got more ice block. Four, five, that's three. Oh, I can actually just use this to block. Uh, this might work. Okay. All right. So, so we got our draw two and our mana token. Now we need to move into here. So we're gonna do. We got two movement. Um. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, which is enough to move here. So that's that. Let's take this guy and put him here. I get minus one for assaulting a city. We're not going to be recruiting any units, apparently. Alright, and then for assaulting the city, I get minus one reputation. I'm killing this guy. Um, so I'm going to, he's going to attack me first. So I have a blue mana token, so I can use the better effect of this card, which lets me ice block five, and I get plus one ice block for each ability the card has which has got um, each ability or color of attack depicting unless it has over each minute or okay so I can it's gonna give me plus ice block six exactly because I get plus one for his element of attack so it's ice block six so I'm gonna use the blue token power this up that's ice block six it blocks all that damage don't even need to use any of this stuff and then <clears throat> to do five I'll do that's two there um, there's no red. I could use a mana. I could use the green for concentration. And then that would allow me to play this for attack six. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play concentration for its better effect. I get the better effect of another card. Um, plus two. So this is attack six. And he dies. Actually, do I, need, I don't even need to, do I need to do this? It doesn't really matter, um, does it? Because that's one option. The other option is to play concentration, get a red mana token, use attack four, and then use the other two for my sword to a, do attack six. The difference is, is that I don't have to re-roll the green die. Is the green die important to me? Yes, because I need it to use underground travel next turn. So I'm actually going to do this instead because I don't, I don't want to take a chance and just not being a green again, which is a pretty low chance. So I'll use this, get a red mana token, put it on here. So I don't have to use a die this turn. And then that's attack four plus my two is attack six. And he dies. So that's five more experience. Alright, we're good. So five more. So, one, two, three, four, five. We're a couple short, unfortunately. Let's discard this, discard this, discard, 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 discard. Return, return. And then, for, for our reward, we get underground travel. Goes on top of our deck. Bam. We still have 17 cards, all right. And then, this goes, it's refresh, meditation. And then we draw, we have a six card limit, and because I have planning, if I have at least two cards in my hand before I draw, draw my hand side plus an additional card. So I draw seven, up to seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we got a text. That's, this is good. This is, this is not bad. We got block here. We got, we're going to use a lot of mana doing this, though, unfortunately, but it's fine. Um... 
kind of fine. I need crystals too. Do I still have crystallize in my in my in my deck? I think I do. Yeah, I got a lot of cards. Holy shit! All right. Plus I have ice bolt. Um. So. Oh yeah, he gets to go. So one, two, three. It's a blue card, so he gets one. One more. That's good. All right. Okay, we're doing stuff. We're we're things are coming together. We got the underground travel that came up. We had the mage tower right there. We were able to have a green man of this turn. I mean, everything's coming together for this city. So, oh, it's daytime, so the city does get revealed what's in it. And this does, too. So three reds give us seven fame, which is okay. And this city gives plus two to all elemental attacks and plus one to cold fire. So this guy actually has plus six. Wow, that's a nasty little card. Um... I don't think I've ever fought that card before. I haven't played this game for a while. Um, what is that card even called? What do they call that thing? Enemy tokens. It is a Delphana Masters. Uh, you can recruit them as allies. And they're like, I think they're, 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 they actually are. They're the best ally in the game you can recruit. They're ridiculous. Um, so, this guy's got seven attack. This guy's got six cold fire, which sucks. Um... It's going to be 12 block to block him. Plus, he only physical attacks are going to be really damaging. Um, Alright. What's the play here? What is the play? So. They're fortified. Well, she can't be fortified. She fights outside the castle. So I can probably, like, range attack 5. This has got siege, ice attack 5. And this is Siege Attack 4. If this wasn't Siege... Okay, so this is Ice Attack. Well, this is Cold Range. Damn it. Hmm. I was hoping I could use one of these cards to do enough to take one. But I'm going to have to combine both of these to take somebody out before they can hit me. And because I can get two Siege Attacks with Blue, Green, Green... Which I can, I have blue, green, I don't have another green. It's not gonna work. I can't get mana any other way, can I? I don't think so. And I'm actually gonna have to spend a fucking green to use underground travel. That's what's gonna be here. So it's not gonna work like we planned. Um, we have block, we have a red crystal for fireball. So we could do like five to this guy. I mean to this guy. And then we need two more range attacks to keep him from hitting me. Um hmm. The question is, do I have like another do I have other options? What um remember I have this whole turn to kill this city. I mean I'd like to explore too, and like but I really want to make sure I can kill this guy. So I think I might actually discard these two and stamina to increase my chances of drawing other stuff that I need. Like, I would like crystallize, because that would let me use get another green crystal, which I could use. Um, what else? Um... Swiftness would actually be pretty good because I could use I can combine that with this guy to one shot that thing. Shield of the Fallen King would probably be good, maybe. Um, mana draw would be good. Ice Bolt would be good. Blood Rage would be awesome. Yeah, these cards I'd, I'm not really interested in having four two block each, really. So I'm gonna end my turn actually. Just sculpt my hand. So, and I can always keep one of them from attacking me, which is good. Really good, actually. Which I'm going to do that. And then I have Ice Block 4 plus this blocks this guy. But I need another blue crystal for that. So we need a lot of mana. So we're going to discard this, this, and this at the end of my turn. So let's discard. And we draw 3. Because we still have planning. So 1, 2... Three. All right, so misform. We're not gonna need that. So it's the dummy player's turn. He just one, two, three. It's a white card. Discards one more. On our turn, 
We are going to crystallize a green mana, I believe. The problem is if I do this, if I crystallize the green, I think I'd rather crystallize the blue. Yeah, I want to crystallize the blue. Yeah, because I don't have a green crystal to use underground travel. So I need to, at least to make sure. But I have green. Yes, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to crystallize the green, the blue mana. I think. Because then we also have. Uh, we also have. I think I'm going to crystallize the white mana. Because that gives me. Range attack 3. Plus I can spend white. Yeah, we're going to crystallize the white. Okay, so we spend the white. Get a, get a white crystal. And then, I think I'm going to hold on to Swiftness, I think. And get rid of Misform. We'll discard that at the end of the turn. So discard, discard, roll. Oh, another white. Okay, that's good. I would like Mana Draw here. I think Mana Draw is what I want. Um, mana Draw or Blood Rage would probably be good, too. So let's do one. Oh, Threaten's not good. And Ice Bolt. And I think the Ice Ball is better as a crystal than it is as a ranged ice attack spell in this case. That's probably what we're going to do. So the dummy player's turn. So one, two, three. It's a blue card. One more. And on my turn, I'm going to play Ice Ball for a blue crystal. I'll discard the Threaten. Discard. Discard. And then I draw two. One, two. Okay, mana draw on shield. So that's block six. Uh, I don't want to waste the shield right now, do I? I mean, I could. I mean, the shield's really not that good. I mean, it's... It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad, but... I'm not really... Like, I'd rather have other cards. Like, when I assault the next city, I'm going to want all the ranged attacks and siege attacks that I can get, because I'm going to use underground travel to get rid of their fortifications. So hopefully I won't even have to block most of their attacks. Whereas right now, this this is actually good, because... I could get rid of it for coal fire block eight, or coal fire yeah coal fire block that complete that, that stops his attack, which is what I was kind of worried about. So this is fine to use right now. Um, now the question is, is do I want to? Let's see what we got left. Do I want to try for blood rage? I have a one in five chance of getting it by discarding rage. Um, let's see here. Oh, or do I just keep the rage? I think I just keep the rage. I, I can probably kill them. All right. Well, anyway, did I? What did I do? So I drew cards. I played Ice Ball, I drew cards, and now I gotta do the dummy player. Alright, so one, two, three. And a white. Alright, so I think I might just assault it this turn. So if I go in now, I would, I'm gonna kinda like play this out. I'm not actually, I, I'm, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna go through it and see what happens. I will probably go back on a lot of this stuff, but we'll just see. So underground travel with a green from the center. Move three spaces. Okay, I move in there. I salt the city. Which brings me down by one. Can't interact with stuff now. Which sucks, but that's fine. Um, and then, let's see. So if I, I do that. Oh, let's see. So I can't forget they have plus two attack, too. So actually, that cold fire block six is still... Okay, it's still enough to block him. Okay, so we're good there. We are absolutely good there. Um, now, what can I do? <clears throat> so, I can use. I can use stuff. Let's see. So he's not. Okay, he's not fortified, and he's not immune to fire. Okay, these are, these are fortified, these aren't. I can kill him outright. If I did, so this is four. 
and then five, six, seven. If I did that, I could also do like five. It's kind of a waste, though. Um, I would need a white and then a green, which I could. So I'm not going to be able to use siege attack because I had to use, or. Siege Ice Attack 5, which isn't very good. Okay, let's try this. So if I do... If I spend a white, that's range attack 3. I can't do this. Now, I could do mana draw for a white. I could, okay, so I would use a white... Well, I would use a white crystal for swiftness. I would use a white crystal for mana draw. I would use mana draw to change the, uh, let's see, the blue, yeah, the blue to two greens, right? Well, then in that case, it doesn't matter because either way, I'm doing the same thing. So, so use the, to change the blue to two greens. Um. And then I'd have two green mana. I could spend one for the Savage Monks. So that's range attack seven. That kills this guy outright. Now, I'll have a green token left over, which I could use for mana bolt and a blue crystal, which would be siege ice attack five, which is not enough. I could do, yeah, it's not enough. <laughs> so I, siege attack isn't going to be very good. So there's no point in specifically using this for siege attack if it's going through all that trouble. So if I put the crystal back, like save the mana draw. So these two, um, well then I, okay. I, I, I don't have to use this for siege attack. I can use range, that, I could, okay, so I could use a red crystal for ranged fire attack five. And then use Swiftness, a red crystal, for Swiftness, which is range attack 8, which is which does the same thing. Okay. And then I still have Mana Bolt, so I could do... I'm going to use... I don't have to block this guy, because I'm going to use... Actually, I don't have to block any of these guys, because I'm going to use the Shield for this guy. I'm going to use the Banner for this guy. I think, yeah. Because that's... 3... So I have two. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, um so we don't have to worry about that. We do have to worry about killing them now. So with these two cards gone, I probably can't kill both of them. I'd like to kill this guy with physical attacks. Um so this'll be gone. Let's see here. So I can do Uh, let's see. I could use a white crystal on mana draw to get cold fire attack, ice attack. So that's see he's gonna resist all of that unless it's physical. So I can do four, five, six physical attack. Oh, wait, I have my units. Okay, 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 okay. So I can kill him this turn. And I want to. Yeah, so I could do um, three, six, right? That's six damage. And then I gotta do two more, which is the rage by itself. Okay, so that's. He's dead. And then I have mana draw and mana bolt left. And I could do cold fire attack. I have a blue crystal, which I'd use for, for spend for it. And then I need to do, I can't do a blue. I have to do a red or a white range. Nope, that's ice attack. So I have to do, um, I have to pay a red, which means I'm going to have to use mana draw with a white crystal. Chain. Okay, so then he dies. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're good. We can do this, people. Whew. All right.
let me just yeah let me go through it one more time so um so I used underground travel I had this crystal okay so I move there okay I go I go in I play swiftness for range attack three I play um, I use my red took my red crystal for range attack five that kills this guy outright done and then during the block phase I play foresters to stop his attack I throw away the shield I'll just throw it away now to, to do cold fire block eight that stops his attack and then I to, 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 to kill them I play um, I'll do three six seven eight that kills him and then I'll play mana draw with a white crystal changing the what well, right left of my deck swiftness I'll change the white to a red with mana draw and then I get two red mana tokens one two and then I use one of them I use I play mana bolt I play a red a blue mana crystal for its for its first thing, and then I use a red, which gives me cold fire attack seven. He's only got ice resistance, so the cold fire does full damage. He dies. <sighs> God, love this game. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, so with all that being said, let's discard all this stuff. Discard, and that's why you need crystals so bad. Like, none of that would have, not even close to being possible if I didn't have, like, I used all of them almost. I had, like, four four crystals, and I used all of them, plus mana, from the the, um, the center. It's just ridiculous. So let's roll this. It's a red. This stays red. Um, this gets discarded, 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 discarded. Return, return, return. Um, and then we're good. So now we get a lot of fucking fame. So 9 plus 5 plus 5, so that's 10, 19. Uh, we killed 3 enemies, we put 3 shield tokens on this guy. Two. Not that it matters because we can't interact because our reputation's all the way down. So we get 19, these all go away. So let's see here. So we have 46, so plus 20 would be. 66 minus 1 is 65. So we actually leveled up twice. Alright. So. That happens now, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. So we don't get anything else for killing the city, right? Except satisfaction. Where is it? City. Okay. Oh, and I get two extra cards at the end of my turn, at, as long as I'm next in my city or adjacent to it. Okay, good. All right, so we the first level up gave us a shield token, so this goes here. Now we have four armor, and we can recruit another unit, but we can't recruit another unit because our reputation. Then we get an advanced action, which is going to be... Oh, uh, maximal effect is always interesting. Use the advanced effect of that card two times for free, and then throw that card away. What does that mean for us? It's an it's an action card as a spell, so I could do like range attack three, which isn't that good. I could use this four times, which is okay. Um, can't use these more than one time. Ice bolt. I could use. I can get three crystals. I could do. No, it's not very good. No, 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 no. Lots of influence. Lots of movement. Lots of something. Attack six or something. But I gotta throw it away. Concentration. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't have any good advanced actions to uh, take advantage of that. <clears throat> so I don't want maximal effect. I could take Firebolt, and that's probably what I'm going to take, because more crystals, and I'm going to need lots of crystals. 
So this goes on top of my deck. These go over, this goes over. Okay. Alright, and then I should have got skills first, but whatever. Alright. Mm, let's see here. Skills. So we got night sharpshooting, range attack one. So it's going to be range attack two at night for free. And that's once a turn. So that's pretty good. Especially because we're going to use underground travel to assault the city. So range attacks are going to work. Which is awesome. Um, so we definitely probably want that. What's the other one? Um, where is it? Resistance break. Choose an enemy token. It gets armor minus one for each resistance it has. Um, it's not bad. It's good, for sure. It's kind of the same thing. <clears throat> um, it makes it easier to kill them, but you have to have the other attack cards, whereas... Yeah, I'm just going to take Night Sharpshooting, because it's good. So that's what we want. Night Sharpshooting. That's once a turn, too. This goes to the center. Dummy player goes... I mean, not goes, but... Okay, I don't really care what that is. And then discard this. Not discard it. Um, get rid of this. All right. And then so we got our advanced action. We got our skill. Now we draw up to. Um, so we're at six plus two is eight. So it's, we only have six cards left. So it doesn't matter. All right. <clears throat> wow. So. We need to explore. Let's do, let's do the dummy player. So, one, two, three. It's a blue card. He discards one more. So, next turn, he's going to declare it. I got two more turns. We got Firebolt. Um, so, I can move here to the monastery. I wish I could recruit, but that's gone. I could even probably kill this fucking dragon. Um... I block all of his attack. Wow. It, re it requires double the amount of block. So I need ice block 8, which is basically regular block 16, or ice block 8. I definitely don't have that. Or I need ranged attack 14. And that's not going to happen. So I could take the four damage, because really, yeah, I mean, blocking that's not realistic. So you just take the four. I mean, have the, I don't know, I could even take a fucking, take one wound. That's, and I have Tranquility, so that's fine. So if I take a wound, I can heal it, so I, so I just got to move. So I have to move two, which I have already, because it's, I have my skill, which gives me plus two movement during the day. So that's for free. I move next to the dragon. I... Take its four damage. Um, take one wound, heal the wound, and then I gotta do fourteen to it. So, oh, or I don't have a green crystal. Hmm. Otherwise, I could heal both wounds this turn. Or there's a monastery there, so that's probably fine because I could heal the extra one. Okay, 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 okay. So. <clears throat> So if I use Blood Rage, right, I use Blood Rage for attack 9, okay, and then I have 10, 11, um, I'm going to save this, these are all cards I can use, I'd like to save this, so, that's, okay, and I also have, oh, this is great, actually, I'm fine, so I have plus 2 attack, and then I have plus 2 range, which is all the same, so it's plus 4 attack, Plus 9 is 13, and then play this for uh, 15, so he dies. And then I still have Firebolt to get a red crystal, etc., etc. He's going to declare end of round next turn, right? Yes, because he just discarded. So, I have another turn, so hypothetically, I could reroll a green and be fine. Actually, do I even need to use take a wound? So I had to attack 4... Um, four, five, six, 
yes. Okay, so that's four, five, this is eight, nine, ten, um, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, that sucks. I'm one short. Okay, how about this? What if I'd use the red crystal from Fireball? I don't want to do that, though. I'd rather take the wound, I think. And then just heal it next turn. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move here. Move out of my city. Okay. And then <clears throat> I'm going to provoke the dragon. The dragon, um, he attacks me. I can't play this during combat right now. Okay, so he attacks me. So that's four. I take a wound. Okay. I do... Um, I'm going to attack him for 14 by playing this with this. That's attack 9. Plus my 4 is 13. It's 14, 15. So he dies. I get 7 experience and my reputation goes up by 1. So discard. What did I say that was? How much experience? 7. Okay, so 7 more. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reputation. I can actually interact now, which is good. Uh, let's see here. And then, so I took a wound. Oh, I took two wounds because of blood rage. All right. And then, so I discard this. I discard this. All right. Please be green. Oh, it's perfect. Gold. Yes. Yes. Sometimes I love this game. God, that's awesome. Alright, so... At the end, I end my turn. Dummy player declares end of round. On my turn, I play Tranquility with a gold for heal too. So that these go away. So, heal. Heal. And then I play Firebolt for a red crystal. And then I play... Uh, let's see... I'll play Swiftness for move 2 to explore this, which will be the last city. The Red City. Alright, so then we got a dragon. Two dragons. And then Ancient Ruins, flip this up. Fight two greens to get four a crystal of each color. Um, let's see. So do I want... I can't use... Well, I already used my two movement. Um, so I could do March for doesn't really do anything. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so discard, 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 and then I can't do anything with this. This gets rerolled, whatever. That's the end of the round. So, man, what a what a fucking what a round. I really thought that I was fucked dead around. I thought I was going to be, you know, I was going to die, or I wouldn't be able to complete this, and then not only would I not be able to complete it, but then I'd have to spend the whole next, the night, fucking around over here, and then not getting anywhere, being stuck behind all this, this shit. That was around before, I believe it was. But I got out of that, and then I had just enough to get underground travel, killed the city in one shot, used all my cards, all my resources, and that just, it came together. So, sometimes, sometimes shit works out. Alright, so, let's hit the button. I'm going to take a little break because my mind is, like, fried at the moment. Um, so, let's do solo scenario round. End, end. After this is done, we'll come back and we'll take on the last city. So, picking up where we left off. Alright, um, let's draw our, well first, yeah, let's draw our hands, that's two, three, what level am I? I'm level eight, right? Eight, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six plus two because I'm next to my city. It's actually good the cities are so close because it gives me much more options. Alright. I'm not going to need mist form. I think I can safely use firebolt for a crystal. I think it's going to be important. Rather than range. Although range attack is going to be very good. Hmm. None of these things give crystals either, unfortunately. Um. Huh. I'm not gonna. I could recruit. That's for sure, actually. Um. No, not really. Well, I could do the ice mages, but they cost 14 influence, and that's probably not gonna happen. So this is two, four. I could get six. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I can do 14 influence. So I went to the city, back to the city, which I don't think I want to do, but I could. Could recruit, recruit the the freezers. Armor minus three. Okay, well, first of all, I, I forgot to do this, too. Um, the, so this city is gone pretty much. The, um... The city came out during the day, so I got to see what cards were in it. I mean, what enemies were in it. And it's a level 8 city, so it's going to be a brown, a purple, and two whites. So a brown, a purple, two whites. That sucks. Up, 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 up. Alright. Some more Dalfana Masters. Um, this guy sucks because he's going to be fortified even when I use underground travel, but that's fine. I might have to kill him on the, on the second attack or something. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I could even use Misform. Well, Misform still attracts fucking people, doesn't it? Um, because I can't move through hills. Oh, so let's let's do this first. So tactics. Um, I'm also gonna need a black mana from somewhere. We need to re-roll it, preferably. Um, we could do. We could take sparing power. That lets me save up for one big turn. Um, the problem is, if I do sparing, well, I don't know. I really need a black mana. Like that's my. Let's say, what is this? Just let me get a black mana. Set it to any color except gold. Gain two mana tokens of that color. Oh, so I could actually use this to get two black mana, and then I could use mana thunderbolt. And fucking uh, an underground attack. It's gonna be a lot of fucking mana though that I can't probably can't afford. I could like use the white from the center. Oh, I'm gonna take sparing power. And the dummy player is gonna take this, so he's gonna go first. Which means one, two, three. It's a white. It's one more. Okay. I don't know if I can do this one. We'll, we'll see. It's going to be interesting. So at the beginning, once before the start of each of your turns, put it face down. So let's just take this. How do I put it face down? It's a, whatever. Alright. Um, now, the question is, how do I want to play this? In case I need to attack again, do I fucking go after the dragon? He's only got. I only need to do eight range attack, and I have two to start with. Oh shit! I fucked that up last turn too, didn't I? 
No, it was fine. Okay. I was going to say, I counted this as two ranged attack against the dragon. But I had 15 attack and only had 14 health, so we're fine. Alright. Um, so I have two ranged attack. I could provoke him, right? Provoke him, that's two. I need to do eight. I can't do any range attack. Um, I really don't want to waste cards fighting this guy. I really don't. What's in the advanced actions? No, that's not going to work. Um, see, I would like to get here. Oh, what's the problem? Yeah, it's not going to work. I have to. Either I kill the whole city in one attack, which I'm not confident I can do. Or I have to kill a dragon first. And that would have let. Ugh, God. Either way, I think we're just going to have to. Because if I. Actually, it'd be fine. Because if I. Underground attack and I, and I fail, it just kicks me back out. I don't know. I'll have to look up the rules for that. I don't know if it kicks me out next to it or if it kicks me out where I started. I think it kicks me out next to it. Which would. Okay, so I think that's going to be our plan. We just can't wait until... I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we're not going to need influence cards. So we can... The circle of proficiency is, is good enough, for sure, because it lets me... Like, I don't know. Gives me movement. I don't need movement. It lets me use motivation, which is good. So it's basically draw two, which is worth it to keep. And it gives me a blue mana token, which is especially worth it. The question is, do I want to keep Firebolt for... Yeah, I'll hold on to Firebolt. If I need a red mana, I can... You know, I think that all the range attack I can get is what I want right now. Even though it's range fire attack. Well, only these guys are immune. It would have damage to it. So, we'll see. Both of these guys are going to be giving me half damage to this. Ugh. Alright. And we're going to save mana draw to... To double up on black mana. Your units gain resistances. All re gain all resistances. So I could even use, instead of using mana thunderbolt, I could use misform. Your units gain all resistances and your hero ignores the first wound. So I could like really divvy up the damage between these guys. If they all had resistances, well, first of all, what does this give them? All of non-elemental attacks have brutality. So they he, they would be resist. So I could absorb a lot of damage on my units, but then I wouldn't be able to use the. I could use the monks for siege attack, which I will do. So they'll be used. Um, I could use these for block, and then take the damage, and then one of these guys is not going to attack. Probably, I don't really know. Probably this guy, because he's, he's going to have brutality. I could probably block this guy. Well, he's got assassination, uh, which means I can't assign the damage to my unit, so I'll actually probably do this, and I could probably, yeah, I think, because all the guys are resistance, resistant to, the, the guys, these guys are resistant to elemental damage, so... Doing mana Thunderbolt doesn't really give me that much more, and I can use the first effect to take out these two for sure. Between this and this and this, and probably I'll also have Fireball, that's more than enough to, to take out these two. And then, let's see, Misform. I'll have resistances, so they can just damage my units, and then I just gotta do a shit ton of damage. I gotta do, like, Eight regular damage, which I, uh, that's not that bad, especially if I have um, blood rage. But then doing fourteen damage, this guy's gonna be the bitch, which makes me nervous. Cause then if I don't kill him, then I have to, I'll be kicked back out, and I'm gonna have to go back in, and I'm gonna have to fight. I, have to, I don't know how the rules work on underground travel. I don't know if it's here or I'll be kicked out like here. I think it'll be back where I started. Maybe I don't know. But if it's back where I started, then I have to fight the dragon. 
with whatever cards I have left and then get enough movement to get to the city which costs five plus whatever this is in which is five actually I think cities always cost two movement why for some reason that just popped in my head I don't know why <clears throat> but I feel like cities only cost a couple movement to get into well they always cost two movement or something I don't know that's a rule that I think I remember I'll have to look it up but I'm not gonna do it right now um, so what I want to do I think I'm gonna save all this stuff I'm gonna discard diplomacy and promise because I don't I don't need these cards I mean I could save them but I'm not going to so I'll discard these two and I'll dr draw my extra my two extra cards one two and then the dummy player goes one two three it's a blue card another two cards we're not gonna have very much time unfortunately but it is what it is all right I'm gonna crystallize a green mana here for my turn right yeah well first of all my beginning of my turn I play put this face down you should be looking at him but I don't know how to fucking take it right and to flip, but whatever. Alright, so I'm going to crystallize this green. So, get a green. I also drew Rage, which I'll probably keep. I don't see why not. Yeah. So I'll discard this. Reroll this. It's a gold, which is useless. And then I draw one card. Stamina. One, two, three, one, two. God, we are we do not have time. <sighs> it sucks. Alright, so beginning of my turn. Let's get his face down. Do I give it one more turn? Because if I flip three, that'll be four. <clears throat> I think I give it one more turn. And then I'll play motivation. God, this is gonna be fucking interesting. I still need underground travel though. That's an issue. I really need underground travel, like badly. Like I can't do this attack without underground travel. I mean I could, but I don't I don't want to. Um Do I get rid of rage? Like what I think rage is pretty weak in comparison to like under I need the underground travel, I need <clears throat> I need Ice ball, fireball would be good. Um, blood rage is what I really want. I really want blood rage. I need underground travel and blood rage. So I think I discard this and I discard this. So I discard, discard, draw. So that's three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blood rage. Okay, whatever. All right, one, two, three, one, two. All right, we gotta go. Um, so, beginning of my turn, well, actually, it's beginning of my turn, so I can either, or put all D cards under it into your hand. Uh, I wish I had one more turn. I just don't, I'm not confident that I can kill them in one fucking turn. Like, kill all of these guys in one turn. I'm going to have two extra cards because I'm going to have motivation. So the question is, is that right now the dummy cards it. So I'm going to have this turn. I'm going to have three more turns. This turn, next turn, and the turn after that. So if I go in this turn, I fail. I'll be kicked back out. I'll have to move back into the city. And I'm going to have to kill a dragon on the way. I'm going to have to kill one of these dragons the next turn with whatever cards I have left, which I don't even know if that's a, po a thing, if that's possible. Uh. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. 
He's fortified, so range attacks don't work. I don't know why I was trying to do range attacks on him. And then I gotta do eight damage. I gotta block six. And then the next turn after that, move into the city. It's just not gonna happen. There's no way I can do all that. There's no way. So I'm gonna go all in. That's my goal. I'm going all in. I'm gonna wait till the very last turn. Underground travel, and then that's it. All in. So on this turn, this is gonna be flipped face down. And then, do I, I'm not gonna discard. I mean, this is attack two or block two or move two. I think I am gonna discard it. Just because it gives me one extra card to get like fireball or something. I have, well, I don't know. The problem is I could replace it with like threaten, which is not good. But I really want blood rage. Like blood rage, I think is key to this 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 plan. So in order to get to have a higher chance of getting blood rage, I'm going to discard this. So I'll discard this at the end of my turn. I draw a card. Swiftness. Another swiftness. It's probably not very good. Um, dummy player goes. So he can't draw. So next turn he's going to declare end of round. And then I'll have one more turn. So this turn I'm going to do the same thing. Flip up. And then do I discard swiftness? I don't think I do. Well, can I use both swiftnesses? Probably not. I'm not going to have two white, man. I'm going to have a two blue. I'll have the white from the center. I'm going to use the green from the center. Yeah, I'm not going to have I'm not going to have any white mana though. It's just, I'm just not. I'm going to have to use a green for underground travel. Underground attack, actually. I'm going to use a green for the savage monks. So that's going to be my crystal and the mana from the center. I'm going to use mana draw. Oh. We're gonna be mana short. That's what we're gonna be. I gotta use mana draw with a white mana, so I'm gonna have to use this white mana to turn the green into two two blacks, which will let me use veil of mist and underground attack. I have to use a green crystal for underground attack. And I'll use my blue token for motivation for the big form for Veil of Mist. So now I only have a red and a blue left. And I'll have to use that for Mana Bolt. I'm not going to have any white mana at all. I'm going to even be short for Savage Monks unless I draw Concentration. So, yeah, I don't... Ah, oh, it sucks though, but I'm going to discard these. So let's discard, discard, and draw two. Well, yeah, one. There's our Blood Rage, and there's Threaten, which we don't need, but that's fine. And then the only player declares end of round, and this is our last attack. So, and now I'm going to use Sparing Power, and I'm going to, instead of, oh, don't select all that. So I'm going to take all these cards and put them in my hand. Flip up, flip up, flip up. In my hand, in my hand. Flip up. Baseball. Okay. And then the, the fucking fun begins. Alright, so I'm going to use. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try everything I got. So I'm going to use Circle of, Profici Circle of Proficiency. I'm going to use Motivation to draw two cards. Please be Concentration. Oh, okay. This makes it so much easier. Alright, so, I also get a blue mana token for using that motivation. Okay. That happened. This can go away, because I'm not going to take that back. I can't take it back. I drew two cards from it. So, next, we're going to use Tranquility to draw a card. This can also go away. I'm not going to take this back. Stamina. Okay. What do we have left? What could we have drawn instead? March. Okay, so either way, it wasn't going to be a use. We have all of our useful cards out. Alright, so, here we go. Mana draw. 
using a white mana, changing the. Actually, can I change? Ooh, I can. It doesn't matter because I can't use the green anyway. So I'm gonna set the gold to black, and I'm gonna get two black mana tokens. And these do exist, but they don't seem. Oh, here we go. Sorry. So black mana. Alright, so that's that. Now we're set up, kind of. We're going to use underground sh underground attack with a black and a green. And this basically says you have to end your movement on a fortified site. It ends your movement and counts as an assault. Ignore site fortifications. Oh, here we go. If withdrawing after the combat, return to your original position. It's irrelevant now, but whatever. Alright, so in we go, into the city, and now we got guys to kill. So these guys are all, we ignore site fortifications, so none of these guys are fortified. This guy is still fortified because his player, his uh, token still says he is. Let's move him down here. Alright. Next. Um... And I'm also going to discard all of this stuff because I want it out of my way. I'm not going to take any of this back. Well, no, I don't know. Because I might, if I decide to use Mana Thunderbolt instead of Miss Veil, whatever. We'll leave this. Okay, so. <sighs> just, now it gets interesting. Let's see. So. We are going to. So all right, here's our attack cards. These are move these are cards that aren't very useful to us. These are attack cards. Range attack cards. Concentration is good. I think it's only for an action though, right? Yeah, these aren't actions. Oh this these are. Wow. If that effect is move, influence, block, or any type of attack, it get that amount plus two. So I can get range attack five. I'm not sure about that yet though. And this we don't really need. So let's move here, here. Alright, um, so, we can group these guys together, um, the problem is he's got physical resistance, so I could just do, or don't I have fireball? Yeah, I have fireball, I could just, like, blow him away with fireball. Like, spend a red mana for fireball on him, that gets rid of him, then I gotta do six. Um, let's see, to do six, without him hitting me, I'm going to need to use something. I'm going to have to use, so uh, I could do, I could do, I could do, use this for a red and then use both of these for range attack six that kills this guy um, the problem is with that I'm not gonna be able to use mana bolt at all well actually I have, a, I have a blue and a black but that's gonna be for veil of mist so I can take the, all this fucking damage well take yeah I'm not gonna have enough mana to do both of these so Let's just see what happens if I do that. So let's just do this, this, with concentration. Alright. If I play concentration, I get a, um, so I have a blue crystal for this. I get a green, I get a red token, put that on this. And then if that kills this guy alright. And then to deal with these guys, um, so they're gonna attack me first. Fuck, I don't have anything. Any more mana left. None. Fucking none. See, you need crystals, man. They're important. So these guys are gonna attack, so I can do... 
This guy's got paralyzed, so I don't I can't get hit by him. And he has to do damage to me, so unless I can block ten, which I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna use my foresters. He doesn't attack. And then <clears throat> this is not looking good. So they all have brutality. Um I could do let's see, Veil of Mist. If I had one more mana I could use well, it's not gonna work. Let's see, Ice Block 3, no, it's going to have to be all units gain resistances, and I, gain, I ignore the first, that, that's irrelevant, so all my units would gain resistances to all damage. Huh. See, but either way, I need to use, I have a black left over, if I Yeah, it's not gonna work either way. Um, block three. Uh, I do have an extra. I forgot about my extra two range attack. Does that help me at all beforehand? Because then I would have. I use range fire attack to take him out. I would only need to do range attack four. Which doesn't really help me because I would need to do the same thing basically. I would need to use for range attack four. I could spend a. Well, it's not going to do anything. I didn't have a green to spend. I don't have any other source of range attack. I only have this two. And I need a green for that, which I don't have. Wait a minute. If I did, oh shit! So if I did, <clears throat> I use a crystal for my inventory. This is a red mana token from concentration. If I use this to instead get a red, a green mana, use a siege attack four with my knight sharpshooting, that gets rid of. Um, that gets rid of this guy without spending my fireball. That's a better play. That's a much better play. So let's do that. So that's we're gonna use him. We're gonna use a. We're gonna return this. We're gonna use a green instead, and use this. So that's siege attack four. Plus my knight sharp shooting is siege attack six. He dies instantly. And now basically that by using this for that, instead of wasting this, we have an extra red mana. So now instead of using Veil of Mist, I could use Mana Bolt, because I have a black, a blue, and now I have a red, which would let me do black, blue, red, which let me Cold Fire Attack 10, which is enough to kill, th oh no, these both have Cold Fire Resistance, um, it's still 10 attack. This is, I'm not going to have enough for this, I can already tell you that. Because um, I have three here. Okay, let's just see. So, I mean, it's our only option, right? So, we stopped, we used the Foresters to stop his attack. He's still going to hit us for five, right? So that's all we have to take is five damage. I'm not going to use any of these cards to block because... Well, he's going to do 10 because he's got Brutality. So, I can use it on these guys, right? So this would be... I can just take all of it, really, because that would only be 3 wounds. This is the last fucking turn. I would lose points, though. Um, so, here's what I'll do. Half. So, I'll, I, would, I wouldn't... I'd lose 1 point. And I think, yeah, I'm going to do this instead. So, I'm going to wound. Wound him. So, that reduces it by 4. And then I gotta take six, so I take two wounds. So one, two. Okay, that takes. Now, now I'm done with damage. This guy didn't attack. This guy hit me. Now I gotta kill them. Um. So to do that, I don't think I can do that, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use this and this to pay for it. Use Fireball for a red mana 
crystal, use the crystal. That's cold fire attack 10. And then I have um, plus 5 attack. I'm going to take another wound. This is, this is, um, so that's cold fire attack 10, regular attack 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, regular attack. 15 regular attack. 16, 17, 18, 18 regular attack, and 10 cold fire attack. Let's see if that's enough, and I know it's not going to be. So, basically they're both resistance to cold fire, so the 10 cold fire gets reduced to 5. It can, it can, it can get added in. Well, actually, no, because regular attack is fully effective against this guy. So, if I use... Let's see here. So I don't want to combine them then, because then they, this guy would get physical attack. So yeah, let's use my physical attack. That's five. So I only need to eight, right? So five, six, seven. That's those two. Five, six, seven. Turn this sideways. That's eight. Okay. That's that's a little bit of use. That's eight attack, right? Five, six, seven, eight. So he dies. Now I need to do. 14 to this guy. So I have. I need to do 14. And this gets counted as. So this is 10. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> 10 cold fire attack. Okay. Which is basically regular attack. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, fucking teen. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, I cannot believe I have enough to do this. Exactly. Used every crystal, used every unit, used all my cards out of all 14 fucking cards I had. Holy shit, and I... Any less card. If I wouldn't have saw that play, like the fix this play right here, and to get the extra red, I would have lost, been down a card. I couldn't do any of this. I could. I did it, though. Let me just verify all of that. Alright. Um, so, one last time. So, these guys both died instantly to... Um, this guy died to Fireball. This guy died to two from Night Sharp Shooting. Um, three from Ranged Ice Attack. That was a crystal, so that was three. Four, five. Wait a minute. How did, that, how did he die from that? He had six, right? So how did I do? Oh, it's yeah. How did he die from that? No, come on now. How did I, how did he die from that? So five. Oh, I use siege attack, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going backwards. Okay, because I, I forgot I added this step. I think yeah. So yeah, I'm good. So I use concentration to get a green token, do four siege attack, plus two from night sharpshooting is six. That killed him. The fireball killed him. So what the fuck did I use the ice bolt for? Right? Uh, what the fuck did I use it for? I had an extra... This is a red crystal. So I used four, five, six. That killed him. I used right okay 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 I got gotcha. you so concentration siege attack four plus two from night sharpshooting kills him he's dead instantly okay six damage no problem four physical resist I use my fireball with the red crystal that's five he dies instantly I have this ice bolt but technically I didn't even need to use the ice bolt because I spent a blue my blue token or my blue crystal I had this blue crystal I didn't really need to use this I still had ice bolt it doesn't matter either way it's that means extra cards so I didn't I didn't just nail it I guess by changing this play up by doing what I did I actually made it I saved two cards instead of one card 
because I don't need Ice Bolt, right? I didn't even use it for the mana. I mean, regardless, it's extra. So if I didn't use Ice Bolt, I was still fine. So this door is still dead. And then to stop their attack, I turned this, I used this guy, stopped his attack. I took the damage from him, wounded him, took some wounds to do damage back. I did, I had um, t 15, at 18 attack, plus my 10 cold fire. I used 5, 6, 7, 8 of it to kill him, and then I had um, 10 from this guy. Yeah, I had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and actually I didn't even count 15, 16. I extend. I haven't used this yet either. So actually, I did. I I was good. And if I still had ice bolt, that was 17. So I actually had three extra because I didn't use ice bolt. I didn't. I make sure I didn't use ice bolt for mana. I actually put this crystal on it because I at first I used both of these for um, for crystals, and then I took this one back. But I didn't take this one back when I when I, I could have because I didn't I didn't need it because I forgot about night sharp shooting. Okay, so that works. Okay, so I actually had ice bolt still in my hand. I actually had four extra damage. So it wasn't as close, but still, I fucking pulled it off. <sighs> okay, so let's just, let's finish the scoring. I know this is, uh, the cities, I'm, I, I know they, they fucking, they just require so much, <laughs> so much fucking thinking. Alright, so, I kill this guy, that's five. This is, so let's just, one, two, three, four, five. Um, four, so one, two, three, four, and then what's this? So eight. So what is this? It'll be eighty-nine. What is this? Nine. So that would be um, eighty-nine. Would be nine-nine. So ninety-eight. So we don't level up. Dicks. All right, and then so this actually come. We'll come that'll come up at the end of the turn. So. Took care of that. I conquered the city. Um, all this goes away. I used all of this. I used this, 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 this. Roll this. Actually, the black stays black because I used um, what you call it? Mana draw. Okay. All of these. Whoa! I don't know why it disappeared, but it did. Whatever. All right, and then I use. I didn't use. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. All about all of this shit. I had like four extra attacks. So that's fine. Um, so that was the end of the round. So my last turn. Normally you get one more round after you conquered the city, but I don't because it was the end of the round. Um, but I do level up still. Um, before the end of the round, so I get basically another shield token, and that's pretty much it. One short from getting another advanced action. Um, I got three wounds, and that's that. That is that. So let's to figure out now. The other thing about this game is that you keep score, so that way the next time you play, you can uh, you can kind of see where you're at and you know how how good of a run you had. So let's see. Solo scenario, so t plus 10 per conquered city. So let's go back to this thing. So we get another 10, so we're at 98, which is 108 for 20. Oh, wait, that was 98. Oops. Plus 108 plus another 10 is 118, because we get plus 20, because we got two conquered cities. Plus 15 if all cities were conquered, which they were. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then plus 10 if each player has co op only. Plus 30 for each unplayed round, which there was none. Plus 1 card remaining in the dummy deck, there was none. And plus 5 if end of round was not announced on the last round, which it was, so I don't get that bonus. And then I also get, let's see. I get plus two for every spell, plus one for every advanced action. So we pull out our cards. Uh, let's see, move to draw a pile. Let's see. So advanced action, regular action, regular action, regular action, regular, regular, regular. Uh, artifact, regular. 
spell regular spell regular advanced spell regular um, advanced regular regular spell advanced regular regular and regular so I get plus one for every plus two for every spell two four six eight and plus one for every advanced action nine ten eleven twelve so so plus ten is twenty three plus two is twenty five Okay, um, you don't get the titles like you do if you're playing against somebody else. Plus two for each artifact. Um, I don't have any extra crystals, so I just get plus two. The greatest leader, so I get um, equal to the number of, so I get divided by two if they're, they get divided in half if they're wounded. So this is a level one unit. I get zero points for that. I get two, four points. And then the greatest conqueror plus two for each keep, monastery, or mage tower. So I did, I actually did do this mage tower. I, that's where I got the underground tag, so I didn't put a token there. So that's um, two, uh, I didn't do this monastery. Four, um, six, eight, so that's eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then Grace Adventure plus two for every adventure site that I went to, which is two, four, six, um, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Another eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then Grace Beating minus two for each wound, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's that. That is all the scoring. Let me just make sure. Um, if I go to rules, and then solo, it is scoring plus 10. Yep. All right, that's that. So my total score was, let's see. I don't feel like doing math because my fucking brain is annihilated after that. So it's 119 plus 41. It's 160 points. So, if you guys have the game or play it, see if you can beat that. Um, it's not an amazing. It's not amazing score. It's not bad. I'd say it's it's a, it's a good score. It's not bad. It's probably average. Um, some of the better scores, like that I've seen other people do, is like the the very best is like when you can break 200. And I mean, I think a large part of that is um, beating the beating the um, the city before. I mean, beating the last city before the the last round. So you would have to do it like this is the the last night. For every round that you do, uh, that uh, you finish the game before that, like, every round is 30 extra points, so if you do it on round 5, you get 30 points, if you do it on round 4, you get 60 points so I think a lot of people will do it on round 5, and then that gives them an extra 30 points, which would have put me at 190, which is an amazing score so I think that's a big factor and also um, I think some of those people they also bump the levels of the cities up a little bit, you know because like, once you get better at this, like, you can consistently beat level, the level 5 and the level 8 city pretty easily. Um, I think a lot of people, what they end up, what you usually end up doing is, is increasing the city level. So you, you'll say the first city will be level 6, or like, the first city will be level 5, the second city will be level 11. You know what I mean? And that gives you more points because there's stronger enemies, which is a little more experience. But that's not a big deal. So, I think breaking 200 is like when you've, you know, you've, you've gotten there. You know what I mean? You fucking beat the game basically I don't know but 160 is pretty average so um, we'll see if I can beat it next time alright um, and that's it for this if you, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments leave them below and uh, see you guys next time